All right, hey, what's going on everybody? Gratuitous here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to work in between different projects. For example, if you wanna copy patterns, automation clips, anything to do with your mixer into a different project, it's just called Project Bones, okay? So before we get into the tutorial, I just wanna share with you guys that I have a premium membership where you guys can sign up for $1 to try a three-day trial to my premium courses, okay? I currently have 14 courses covering, uh, you know, song structure and arrangement to sampling to uh, the FL Studio mixer and stuff like that. So the link will be in the description below for that. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So if you hit F10 and if you go to file, you're going to see that you have a user data folder here. Now this is what FL Studio uses to store a lot of your stuff behind the scenes, such as like auto saving, as well as your project bones, as you can see right here. You can save this into a different custom location if you want. I personally don't even use this folder at all, but I'm just showing you that this is where the project bones will be saved. It's like the default location, okay? So you come up here to file, you go to export, and you're gonna to go to project bones. So in this case, I am actually gonna save it in the default location, okay? So as you can see, it's going to image line, it's going into data, it's going into FL Studio, and it's going into project bones. So this is the default location, which will be right here. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that it's gonna be universal, okay? I'm gonna be able to see this same project in different files, okay? So right now, if I click on it, you're gonna see here's Ambition Automation Tutorial. That's what I was just in. If we open it up, you can see that here's everything pertaining to this track. And if I were to open up a new track, for example, let's just go new, you're gonna see that all of this stuff is available. So for example, if I go to like uh, scores, okay? So here's like my claps. So let's just say I drag in some bass here. So there's like the MIDI notes for my bass. So all I have to do is load up like a bass preset and those are all of my patterns. You know, if you want like your mixer, if I drag over this bass preset under here, you're gonna see that it loaded up all of these EQs and these compressors. Now, back in the day, if I just wanted to copy over like one sound to another project, in this case, I would just literally copy and paste. So I would go Control C or, you know, Control X just so you guys can see I actually copied it. Um, and then I would go to the other project you know, let's just go new again, and I would just paste it in. And this was just a really simple way if I just wanted to copy and paste one sound over into another project. But if you're wanting to get more in depth, then you can, you know, do the project bones. Now, if you're wanting to, to like pretty much copy one whole project to another project, it's just like, well, in that case, you would just literally just want to save the project with the new name and then just start deleting stuff that you don't want. Uh, project bones just comes in handy if you're wanting to, you know, kind of transfer over multiple things, but, you know, not, not like the whole song okay so that's how you work uh, with multiple projects it's just called project bones super super powerful stuff and th that's how you do it okay so again if you guys want to check out my premium membership again it's only one dollar for a three-day trial from then on it's ten dollars a month you get access to all of my premium fl studio music production courses i treat it as like a mentorship so if you guys have any questions you guys can always reach out and i can always create uh, courses on these topics that you're dealing with so i'm gratuitous hopefully you guys like the tutorial if you guys have any other questions leave it in the comments below and i can create a new tutorial on your question okay